or endangered native birds on the island. The farmers will actually ring up and, and get us to go and get people to go out and hunt their land. Weka are everywhere here as there are no stoats, weasels or ferrets. But am I a killer? The boys are inside getting the fire ready to cook these weka. I'm left with four of them out here. And I just don't know how I feel about it. You know, it goes against everything you're taught about protecting native birds as a kid. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm going to give it a go. First, Pitta removes the prize feathers and gives them to his mate Roger for a campaign he's kicking off back on the mainland. These are going for a, as a koha for Mr Roger. He'll tell us more about that later, but first, make sure the water's boiled so the birds can be softened up. So the guy with the biggest hands and the toughest fingers wins. <laughs> Not me. The feathers are removed, a blowtorch gets rid of the smaller ones, and now I really am feeling squeamish. Oh, <laughs> there's some hot s. <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Once butchered, they're ready for cooking, but where some of us see lunch, others see opportunity. Probably you can charge $50 for a bird because a big bird you cut it in half down this way and so you've got two birds, two meals for one bird. Yes it might sound radical but Roger Beatty has a radical plan to boost the Weka's population on the mainland. We should be farming them. No farmed species has ever died out. He lived in the Chathams for 17 years and has set up a small Weka farm in the South Island, but he can't sell any as it's illegal, so he's campaigning to change that. We need to incentivise people to look after them, and the best way of doing that is for them to make money out of it. Because initially, with these types of things, people have passion, but passion runs out. And when the passion runs out, you need a system that is time honoured that will make sure it succeeds. He's selling beanies with a weka feather on top to fund his campaign, but Doc and the Conservation Minister are strictly opposed to the farming idea. They say creating pest-free sanctuaries is the best way to save endangered species. Roger disagrees. We should have this debate about whether we should or shouldn't farm our native bird species. We farm plenty of other species that are native in New Zealand. Shellfish, trees, why not birds? Back at the shed, the weka was ready to eat. So this is weka, watercress, potato and kuma. At its best. This is absolutely stunning. It's like a uh, cross between like pork and chicken. Yeah, that's a good one. Pork and chicken. OK, welcome back to the show now. We've got Chef Al Brown and Ryan Bridge here with us along with some of this wicker meat that we've um, promoted in the last few minutes that Al has cooked up for us. Nice to have you guys here. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. We better, you better talk us through this. What have you done here? Uh, well, I got the, the wicker dropped off, so I, I did it like a confit style, which is like a French style of cooking duck, uh, where you marinate it in a little bit of thyme and juniper and some garlic and a bit of salt. And then we cook it very slowly in some duck fat. It's an old traditional way of preserving... Um, preserving duck and there was um, serving it on a little bit of kumara uh, and then like a bit of salad with some pear and some walnuts. Right, how, but how would you describe the taste? Uh, the taste of, of weka I, I think it's very very similar to duck. Yep. Um, it's, it's not overly gamey at all um, and you know for me, it, well when I ate it, when I ate it in the Chathams I adored it and uh, the piece I ate on the weekend I loved it as well. Mm. Did you eat some of our wicker? Well I had to play around with the recipe of course. So, One for uh, me, you know, two for you. Yeah. Ryan is this the wicker that we saw being caught in that story? Yes. It is the one? Yes. The one that one was squealing? Off. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, shall we thing. try this? Yeah let's try it. Oh, it's good, okay. have a go. Now, yeah. let me this, is, this is just a little objected. bit of sauce. Okay so we had, um, we only have plastic cutlery and already Al has objected. It's not appropriate, he says. Weka <laughs> deserves more than plastic cutlery. Okay, well, I'm going to organise some. Can we organise this? Here, look at this. Look at this dreadful cutlery here. So we got. We can't have plastic. <laughs> Let's sort this out. Can we? Here's Polina. We have to get Thank Polina you, Polina. Oh, we've got Thanks, silver Polina. service. We'll do a little switcheroo. Yeah, you can take the bad stuff away. Thank, Thank you, Polina. There you go. All okay, right. so we're up into this. So when I had it, it was like a boil up, right? So yep. they dunked it in, in boiling water and it was beautiful like that, but I, I wouldn't mind trying some of this. Oh, I think <laughs> oh, really? that's right, right. <laughs> hey, hey um, in, in terms of, so what do the locals, how do they regard it on the, how do the locals regard it on the Chathams? Like, you know, oh, they, a delicacy or? No, no, they eat it all the time. Right. Yeah, okay. most of them are out when it's in the season, they're hunting all the time. 
or right. every well, weekend. Well, they, they eat nearly all the food that they eat is wild mm. over there, whether it's caught from the sea or I think they have pigs and deer as well out yeah. there. I actually yeah, think they that's do. less gamey than a duck. It's, it's a little bit of a mild taste. It's delicious. It's absolutely lovely. It's all right. There's a little bit of quince paste. And, and there's a little bit of fat on top of the, the, the leg of the weaker. So I took the fat <laughs> out and then I made <laughs> a little bit of crackling with, with, the, with the skin. I think, have I either got a bone or really hard bit of... <laughs> you got a bone. Mm. you got a bone. In your mouth. Al, tell me something. If you could get this into your restaurants, would you serve it? Sure. You would? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it was farmed, and, and uh, I think it's a great idea in a sense that um, if, if we can look after the weaker population and we can help seed the bush as well, um, but, but also the tourists mm. uh, to come and, and try a delicacy... Uh, that has been part of New Zealand heritage for years and years and years. Maori have adored Weka and even the early settlers, they used to call them bush hen. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you.